In this video, we'll take a look at how to use Phoenix to do automated production planning for standing dies, also known as existing dies. So let's start off by creating a new job and importing our orders using a CSV. So I'm going to go and select my CSV file. In this case, I'm going to do a carton job. Uh, so if we just take a look at the CSV here, you can see we've got our quantities specified, the bleed, the stock type, cut and crease layers, which um, are going to be used to pull the die line out of the artwork files, and then the actual artwork files themselves. So I'll just go open on that, and that's going to bring in our set of items to Phoenix, which will populate here on the products panel. And so if I just take a look at one of these items, I can see uh, that the quantity, quantity has been specified. Uh, we've also got the stock set, which is matching a stock that's in the library. We have in our library here, Paperboard 24 point. And then I can also see that the die lines have been set up. So if I just hide the artwork, I can see the die line have got the cut and crease lines, which were pulled directly out of the artwork file using layers. Uh, so we're already go all ready to go here uh, to do a production plan. In order to do that, I'm going to use the Imposition AI tools. And in this case, I want to use the plan tool, which can use multiple presses and sheets uh, for up to a thousand orders in a single job. Um, so the plan tool doesn't require us to have a standing die, so if I click run here, it's going to go and just start generating layouts from scratch, and those will be nested layouts, um, so it'll generate tight results here, and we're sorting by cost, so the cheapest results are going to come up at the top, and very quickly, about 10 seconds, you can see we have tightly nested results here. Um, but of course, in this case, we're interested in standing dies, so we actually want to use this tool to plan onto a standing die. So I'll just stop that and close this. And in order to use standing dies, um, I can either import a die um, from an external file or use my template library. So in this case, uh, let's go import a die template from a file, and I have a CF2 file here. And so I'll just bring that in. Now, I could do this manually in Phoenix. So for example, if I just set my press here and then go drop my die into layout, now I can um, select items here and just map products drop products into each one of these, these stations. And I can go along and do that for all of the items here. If this layout gets filled up, I can go and create another layout and, and keep doing that. Um, but of course, um, the, if you have, you know, say 50 items or 100 items or 1,000 items, and they all have different quantities, and you're trying to figure out the best combination to do this, um, not only is that a difficult calculation, but it also is very time consuming to manually go and uh, drop each one of those items in there. Uh, so this is exactly what the Imposition AI tools are designed to do. So let's just uh, delete this layout and bring up our Imposition AI tools again. And I'm simply going to click Run and start generating results. See, okay, in one second here, it's found a match. Um, it looks like uh, it's using that die template and um, it's sorting the results again by cost. I can just take a look here, I can go click on the info here and actually look at the layout and I can see indeed uh, down here there's a template and I can see that it's used standing die CF2. You can go and look at the other layout um, and actually it looks in this case okay, um, it's actually generated a layout so it didn't use the standing die for the other one. Um, I can change that, probably one of the other results, this result here looks like okay it's used the standing die on both. But if I want to guarantee that it's only using standing dies, I can change my profile. So I'm going to select this existing profile. If I just take a look inside the profile, I can see in the strategies section here, it's got all of the strategies except templates turned off. So templates um, is what it's going to use to, uh, to guarantee that I'm only using existing dies. These other ones will actually go and generate layouts from scratch. Um, so if I click run, now I'm going to get results only using templates. And so I'm absolutely guaranteed here that these results will match my physical die. So I'm just going to double click on that, apply that to the job, and I can go and take a look at each one of my layouts, uh, do any of the final pre-press I need to do, uh, add in marks, and, and then go and export for rip. Um, or, you know, make some, some changes, some typical changes. Maybe I want to shift items around here, this kind of thing. I can go and do that very easily by just doing control click, click or swapping columns around. Um, so that's how we can use existing dies. Um, now, I use an external file here that I had for CF2, but uh, really the, the most efficient way to use Phoenix for uh, standing dies would be to create a template library. And so Phoenix has um, a template library, and I can just bring in my templates from external files, like this. 
So now I have this template in my library, or in fact, I can actually, a layout that's been generated from a position AI, I can actually go and save that as a template and create, a, create an existing die or standing die right in Phoenix. Um, but uh, so let's just, uh, let's do another job. Now that we've got this template in our library, I don't actually have to bring in any external files for the die template. So all I have to do is bring in my set of orders. I'll just go open that. And then I'm gonna click run and Instantly, there we go, it's using that template, and in seconds I've generated results uh, using that standing die. So that concludes this video. We showed how to import a set of orders from a CSV, and then using the Imposition AI tools very quickly generate a production plan with an existing die.